Hi friends, it is Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome and happy new year. I hope you all had a fantastic New Year's Eve start to the new year. I am filming this on January 1st because it's taken me this long to get my planner act together for this year. So, um, I didn't think I had a ridiculous amount of stuff going on until I laid it all out and but some of these are not like everyday things um, so I'm going to start with these two um, they are not everyday things this is an A6 um, I bought this off the buy sell trade so I'm not sure Speckled Fawn. I don't even know if that's still a shop. Um, but it is an A6 size. I really love this cover. And this is just an A6 notebook that I ordered like some washi stuff off of Amazon, like washi stickers. And this came, it was like a little kind of bullet journal set if I can remember I'll link it but this little notebook came with the set so I kind of started it out as like a journal um but I am going to use it as a commonplace book so I've already kind of started putting things down in here and it's been kind of a relief because I feel like I'm a person who has a million tabs open on their phone and their laptop and I feel like this is a place where I can collect all of that information and go with it and then this is an A6 Stology. Um, last year I got into using um, tarot and oracle cards. Mostly I use them as like, um, I don't really know how to explain it. Mostly I use them as a way to reflect on how I'm feeling, what's going on in my life. Um, and so I stuck this little notebook that I also started as a journal, shocking. Um, and I want to like take notes and stuff on tarot in here. So these aren't necessary. This isn't like a system that I'll be using every day. It's just kind of like an as needed sort of thing. This was on a necklace I had a really long time ago and the necklace broke, but I love this little rhinestone bow. And then last year I kept a, like an analog reading journal and I did pretty well up until May, June-ish. Um, May, I lost my dad at the end of May and I kind of stopped reading. And then when I got back into reading, I just didn't have it in me to like set up the whole thing. I was keeping it just in like a dot grid notebook and having to set it up every month um, once I got back into reading more frequently, kind of out of my book rut, I just didn't have the energy to do that. Um, so I got this reading journal um, for Christmas. Um, it is also from Amazon, but I will link this below as well. So it has like a daily tracker. Um, where you can, you know, go through and mark it lasts for multiple years if you want it to. I'm not sure. I have a goal of a hundred books this year. We'll see how it goes. Um, and then there's like 
lists of books to read. I have kind of broken them down. This is just uh, like fiction. These I think are mostly mysteries and thrillers. I think I'm going to use one for Kindle Unlimited because I will save them. Like I have a Kindle Unlimited list on our Amazon account and I just find the search function a little bit not user friendly, I guess. Um, so I want to keep a list of books in Kindle Unlimited that I want to read. Um, I have some fantasy book, a couple fantasy, well, actually one fantasy. Um, some not, this list is for nonfiction. This list is specifically for autobiographies. And then this list I made for book series. So it kind of goes through. Um, and I'll just flip through a couple of pages. Um, and then you can write down your favorite books, books you didn't finish, um, which I do like frequently. I just, I have a finite amount of time to read and a limited number of days on earth and I just don't see the purpose of finishing a book that I'm not enjoying for whatever reason. I mean, sometimes it's not even the book, it's just kind of where I am. Um, and I may even pick it up and finish it later. I will finish books if I don't like them or think that they're bad as well. Um, I just, I don't know, I'm not a person who wants to waste time reading things that I'm not enjoying. Um, there's a list for books borrowed, books lent out. I don't really buy physical books that often anymore. I will often buy ebooks or go to the library. Um, and then these are the reviews. I think this specific journal has room for 150 reviews and I just would rather use this and then if I want to cover up some of the pages with like specific things then I can but at least I don't have like the pressure of trying to set up a book journal every month. So these two are just kind of in the stack as needed but not something that I plan on using every day. All right, so let's move on. Um, so I did, I can't remember like what I caught this last year, but um, last year I went back in a standard size. I did, I cut down my Hobonichi last year into standard size and used that, I think up until June when it got like a little bit um, cumbersome. And then I switched over to Astology um, that I was doing like daily pages in, and then I had, um, a month on two pages insert from Traveler's Company, or, yeah, and then I was using a week on two pages, but it was vertical. So this year, I am using this as my on-the-go system. I've thinned it out. I'm not using Astology. I'm not doing daily pages in this. Um, so I have my monthly book in here because I just, if I could only have one planner, it would have to be a monthly, um, just because I'm like the manager of things in our house and I need to know what's going on. So I kind of decorated the inside. Glow is my 2024 word of the year. So I made this on Canva. Um, and then, yeah, I just have my, my, I did get the undated because I didn't feel like waiting for the dated ones to ship. They weren't gonna ship until January. Um, and I wanted to, I honestly, um, 
wanted to get this before I changed my mind again about what I was using. So I have a month on two page booklet and then I have the week on two pages again, but I am using this, uh, I think they call it like the weekly with memo, but it is very similar to the, I mean, it's the exact layout as the Hobonichi weeks, which I really love. Um, so I'm using that. Oh, sorry, that had my info on it. Um, and then I am going to put um, like more permanent lists in here. Um, I haven't started transferring the information, but things like my, the makeup shades that I use, like for foundation and bronzer, um, my favorite, like my everyday kind of lipstick stuff list of skincare products that I'm using. So if I'm out and I need to pick them up, then I have them in this book. So just kind of stuff like that is going in here that will last all year round. Um, this little, do you remember when like shaker dashboards were a thing? I had this in a traveler's notebook and because I am a hoarder, I found it while I was trying to set stuff up and thought it was cute. So I popped it in here. This I am going to use as my journal. Um, and I just bought, I actually bought two, three packs of these on Amazon. The paper is fine quality. I don't really care about the paper quality for stuff like this. Um, I do have like this plastic pouch. I need to see if there's a canvas or a linen pouch that's standard size. And then this last book, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in here or not because it does add some weight. Um, but sometimes when I'm out and about, I will have ideas about what I'm writing or like names will pop into my head or a bit of dialogue and I just want some place to write it down and keep track of it. This, um, I have two of these now. So this is the Jin Hao 100 fountain pen. I really love these for a $20 pen. It is attractive. It has some weight to it, which I appreciate. And I love the way that it writes. So this is extra fine and this is fine. Okay, so this is going to be in my bag. Um, I will update it as needed like this. I just like to know what's going on for the week. And then if I'm out and I need to make notes or something for the next week, I can jot it down. Um, and it's lighter than my personal rings. So this is going to be my on the go planner. Um, and then I am still in personal rings for like my planning planning. I don't want to flip through this because I still have all of my uh, 2023 stuff in here except for my monthly. Um, not much is going to change, but I think I'm going to do like a separate flip through of that. I will link my last flip through and you can see how I'm using it. Basically, I have my all of my monthlies together and then I do my weeklies and my dailies by the month. So I have all of the weeks for each month and, you know, 30, 31 daily pages for that month as well. And then this is like where I track my health, um, where I track my son's health, where I have like cleaning stuff, meal planning, all of that goes in here. And I just, I mean, I can carry it with me, but I don't ever want to. Um, let's see. And then I guess I'll go into this. Um, so 
I, the one thing that I did last year that I won't, I won't say it was a complete fail, failure. I kind of fell off on it was like my memory keeping and I was doing it in a traveler's company insert, the vertical week on two pages. And I had two books, one for January through June and then for July through December. Somewhere around August, I kind of fell off doing it. I'm not really sure why. Um, and then I was flipping through some of my old Stologies, which by the way, when you're trying to figure out your planner system, don't flip through old books <laughs> because it will just confuse you. Um, but I was flipping through this from last year, I guess. Um, and I just really miss this whole situation of having just like a record of what I was doing, photos, all of that in one place. So, I'm so once again, I'm back in a B6. Um, I just have random stuff in my pockets. I'm not hugely into decorating my pockets. Um, this, once again, I made in Canva for my word of the year. I kind of like this very collage scrapbook style. Um, I think it really suits me. I'm, I don't know. I'm a bit like I love mixing patterns and colors and texture and all of that. So I'm just... I want my planners to feel like me and I want to open them and be happy to be in them. So I have that. I have this 2024 just kind of yearly overview that I made in Canva. This is vellum that I laminated and tipped in. Don't have anything on this page yet. I think I'm just going to stamp the year. Um, and then this is the... Peanuts Planner Co. freebie. I don't know what I'm going to track on here or use it for, but I always feel the need to have a monthly in my planners. I don't know why. Um, I have goals and intentions for January, and this is the week. So I have it set up kind of like the take a note. I really toyed with the idea of getting the A6 take a note for my on the go planner, um, but I didn't. So I have this set up like that with just like a weekly overview and then the page divided into days. So my plan is to use this space for whatever. Notes, ideas, funny things that happened that day. It's more of just like a creative planning space than a functional one necessarily, or at least it's starting out that way. I don't know, things may change later. Um, but yeah, that's all I have set up for now. Um, I may kind of I like to have my week all together, so I will set that up and then the pages after, like if I want to journal, I'll journal. If I want to um, write about, I don't know, something that my son did or but he's very like creative and into like building with Legos. Um, so... For example, he <laughs> built the stage for Hamilton, like out of Legos, because that's one of my favorite musicals. And so like if he builds something specifically for me and I take a picture of it and kind of jot it down. So that's what I'm using the B6 for. And then we have one more and then we're done. So this is my A5 rings. I was in this, was I in this last year or the year before last? I think I was in this last year for like my main planner because I felt like 
personal rings wasn't giving me enough space. But this year I am using it for my like writing business content planner. So I have uh, this that I made on Canva just with my word of the year again. The more places I have it, the more places I'll remember. And then I just have it set up. Um, so I have a month on two page calendar that I am tracking like all my videos, uh, writing deadlines, all of that kind of stuff. Um, then I have this weekly that I really like from, let me get to a blank one. Where is this from? Haru Plans. So last year I was doing this in a happy planner, which worked and it didn't. Part of the reason that it didn't work was everything was like too regimented, which I can show you. Like I was using a teacher planner, which is great, but like I don't need this much space and this isn't really how I work because I don't get a chance to work on things every day. Um, so I have it set up where my videos will go at the top or if it's a blog post or if it, once I launch my newsletter, if it's a newsletter, like those things will go up here. This is where I'm tracking. I have two Instagram accounts. So one is just like my regular one. Um, I'm doing Instagram posts for that over here. And then I'm using this space down here for my author Instagram account. Um, I have this set up. So I'm trying to think, I don't want to like flip back, but I'm using this as more like a categorized list. I, um, used whiteout to cover up the days of the week. So it basically is like film, edit, upload schedule. And then for writing stuff, it's like write, um, photograph, edit, or I'm sorry for blog stuff. And this is just like a running to-do list. I'm using this box for analytics for the week and then any notes. And then I also have this kind of free space to make notes on. And I think that's gonna work for me. Then if I have like a really um, scheduled day, I through these daily pages in here. I did go ahead and make um, like an ideal schedule for myself for the weekend. Wednesdays are like my free day when I don't, I'm not um, keeping my grandson during the day and then just like a regular day. Um, then I have like my goal section, which I think I'm going to do like a separate video on that, but I have all of that together. Um, my weekly action steps for my goals and then my content. So I have a separate content calendar. I'm just using a month on one page. I can't remember where this is from though. Um, and then I have some of these content plans inserts from Haru plans that I can make notes of things that I want to include in like videos or blog posts. I have a separate section for writing. Oh, all of these like dashboards I just made in Canva. So I think that one has like the coffee. This one, they're just like images I used and printed on vellum. Um, so I have just some writing, like goal setting stuff, um, like things that pertain to indie authors. And then I also have a project section, a section to 
uh, track finances for my author business stuff. And then just like miscellaneous notes, uh, passwords, logins, like all of that kind of stuff. So if you want to see a separate like full walkthrough of how I have this set up, then let me know. I'd be happy to film one for you. Um, and then I just have a couple, of, oh, I talked about these fountain pens, but I also got these for Christmas, um, which they're kind of like mild liners. I like them because they come in this little cup, um, but they have a like brush pen tip. And then the other side is more like a felt tip pen, which I really appreciate. Um, I love the colors that they these come in. I did a color swatching somewhere when I got them. So that's kind of um, the colors that they come in. Oh, I got a record player for Christmas. So I was making out like these are things that I'm transferring into that list book in my um, standard, but yeah, so that is the full planner situation that I'm starting with in 2024. Um, and I think it's gonna work. Like I'm, I'm feeling really good about everything, um, but I'm interested to know what you're using. Are you sticking to what you had last year? Are you trying something different? Um, are you a one planner person or do you prefer to have like different areas of your life and different planners, which is kind of, well, not really because everything like the three are kind of my everyday life. And then this is like strictly for um, writing and content and all of that. So um, if you have made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you next time. Bye!